Gotta check out the party at ESU. Imagine this. A straight shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, AKA Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. Excuse me. This was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! Taking hostage on a tourist bus. That's a New York reality tour for you. This is Sable Control. What's our situation in Nomad? Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we go out early to Midtown? Everyone's in costume. Mm -hmm. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find him before Lee does. The job offer in Delaware came through. There's no Broadway in Delaware. No uh, no, 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 no. The stadium's too big a target. Hey, look at us! The Spider Bros! 
check out my moves. Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Ah, oh, oh, Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Which one? No, I have you. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. Okay, I guess. Ugh, got a crack in it. Throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. Can't use my webs. How could I get up there? Be Dr. Delaney. Now, how do I get to him? <laughs> Take it easy. J just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. <laughs> Let him go. Yeah. <laughs>
Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. Some mood lighting. Where'd they take Delaney? recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. That's all of them. Gotta find Lee.
what it lead do to these people? Oh, if it helps, I felt bad doing that. You'll be okay later. Believe me, this is for your own good. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yes, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. A secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. I guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. at Empire State University. But this is not your usual toxic mix. Underage drinking, titled millennials, and hormones run rampant. Authorities are keeping a tight lid on the situation, but my sources tell me the demons drug the students, turning them into deadly rage machines. What has become of our fair city, ladies and gentlemen, when we have to fear our own children, our neighbors, our husbands and wives? Be vigilant. Be on guard. Keep a close eye on that barista with the man bun making your skinny latte. Or you could be next! No talking during the infiltration.
glad I was here. Demons were gonna overwhelm those Sable agents. Sorry guys, kinda gotta see something, do something. Attention units, a truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Any officers near Midtown North, please copy. Bomb in that truck. Gotta get it away from civilians. how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. All stable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents, someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Just two more modules. The 
attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy, Control. Bird inbound. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, I gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? The Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. Humpa, son of a bitch! You're lying! Ah, oh, don't be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab, but we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. Jackpot. GR-27? Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases. But in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Stanley has been held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach it? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park.
Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. of my enemy is probably also my enemy, but I still gotta shut it. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. <laughs>
If you told 12 year old me one day, dude. Kick your butt. Backing you up, sport. among these attacks on Oscorp and Norman Osborne by the demons. The motive? It's hard to ascribe motive to lunatics, but I suspect it's no accident that they're striking at both the pillar of our corporate community and the center of our city's government. It's our very way of life that's under assault, as I have always warned. If you've been listening to me, you're ready. If not, I'll pray. You earned it! on the stable guys is all the reward I need or is that constipation
many bullets flying over there. Hey, could we solve this peacefully if I brought you cupcakes? Gotta stop meeting like this. Huh, tell that to the demon. Another bomb threat. Can you tackle it? Disable the primary device for the army key, then tackle the secondary device. And I meant it! Disarm the primary device. Don't think about the blocker C4 this is wired to. One down. The secondary bombs are on a timer, though. Gotta hurry to disarm them.
Time to KO those snipers. Anytime. about Spider-Man. And this will not help my case because it sounds outlandish, but I have personally seen listener-recorded video of Spider-Man snatching pigeons. Pigeon napping. Why? What possible purpose could there be for such aberrant behavior? I've thought about it long and hard, and I think I figured it out. He's eating them. We've always assumed Spider-Man is a man with the attributes of a spider body. What if it's the reverse? What if somehow a spider gained the powers of a man and he's stalking his prey? Somewhere there's a giant web with these poor pigeons stuck in it, waiting to be devoured. And will it stop at pigeons? Will we be next? I promise you this, I will not rest until I have the answers.
receiving reports of an armored car robbery. Location is Lower Chinatown. Cash. There are much easier ways to get on the five o'clock news, fellas. in the truck. Gotta disable it. must have crazy insurance premiums. This is Control. Need a sit rep for Corlear's hook. Demons are attacking outpost Romeo. Send back up. It's egomaniacs who use the internet solely to draw attention to themselves. And we just had a real meeting of the minds in that respect, as the online 
personality, Screwball, pranked fellow narcissist Spider-Man into an epic snipe hunt that put innocent people in danger. On the one hand, Screwball did show us all just how gullible and reckless Spider-Man is, rushing headlong into dangerous situations without knowing or caring who he'll hurt as long as cameras are on him. On the other hand, Screwball herself is no better. Unlike me, she's not trying to expose wrongdoers like Spider-Man as a public service. She's just in it to promote herself, which I think is absolutely despicable. Now don't go away. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson will be right back after this important message about how you can buy my book. on Dutchtown. Serious car accident down there. Looks bad. I can't move! Just a little more! Hey, Spider-Man! There was a bunch of guys trying to the door. The driver must have been hopped up. It caused the whole wreck. Need to find the people who caused this. They've still got to be nearby. Buildings lately, Spider-Man. Can I get an autograph? 